Yeah, it's the price of a negotiator. And I'm here because I'm tired of you getting less. Less sunshine, less fun, less bang for your buck. It's time for more. That's why I'm getting you up to 60% off your favorite hotels, along with exclusive deals on rental cars and flights. Because when you save more, you can do more. More sunshine, more fun, a lot more for your dollar. Every trip is a big deal. So visit Priceline.com to get more out of your next trip. Get ready for Talksport's cavalcade of the catastrophic... Bordeaux, as in the tapestry, yeah? No. no. This is the legendary Clips of the Week podcast from TalkSport. The TalkSport Clips of the Week. Yes, it is Clips of the Week time, Andy. And uh, do you want to kick us off this afternoon? Yes, and let's start with Alan Brazil discussing the football award we've all been talking about this week. He scored 31 last year. Salah finished seventh on the Ballon d'Orlish. Yeah, Ballon d'Orlish. <laughs> it's, it's the Ballon d'Or, but just for Dawlish, uh, the best player town Dawlish. and Dawlish United. Did you know they play at Sandy Lane? I don't know if Simon Cowell's going to go on Boxing Day. First. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> but uh, all I do know is that the fact that even though he hasn't ever played for Dawlish Town, Lionel Messi did win it, which is quite <laughs> strange. Yeah, <laughs> This is Alvin Martin alongside Ian Danter at Palace v Villa making an interesting demand. Judge the bounce of the ball better and brings it down and keeps the ball away from Zaha. I like cash. I do like cash. Well, I think uh, accounts were planning to do a bank transfer for <laughs> your fee. Really, isn't it? I don't think we can, <laughs> don't think we can do that for you, Cash. I'm sorry, Alf. <laughs> this is Jim White chatting to Associated Press's Rob Harris with an old broadcaster's trick. The um, police taking action, raiding the offices of Juventus on Friday in both Milan and Turin. And what they're trying to get hold of is... Oh, we're just lost. related to transfers. They're trying to find out the dealings of those transfers. I see. I see. Oh, yeah, all right, Jim. What did he say? Come on. <laughs> just slick an old I, yeah, an old I see in there, and that will get you out of jail. This is Steve McLaren on breakfast giving his thoughts on Ralph Ranyak. He's a club builder. That's what he is. He goes on the three C's of concept, creating a DNA for the club, a recognisable identity style of play, counter pressing, counter attacking, fast, exciting football. Wasn't DNA one of the three C's? <laughs> no C's in DNA. <laughs> the three C's, DNA. Um, so, what's next, Andy? It's time now for match reporter Alan Biggs and this week's Carry On Talk Sport. I've had six inches in my back garden just six miles from here and it's still there this morning. Well, there we are. Carry on talk sport. It's, uh, it's often the case, and that would make uh, a hell of a story in 24 hours in A&E, wouldn't it, I would think. Uh, and uh, staying with TV, Neil Warnick's shock revelation on breakfast this morning will surely feature in a future episode of The Crown. So we went down to the Guinness bar. There was, uh, what do they call Princess Anne's uh, husband? Oh, uh, make, uh, no, mate. Uh, no, no, no. Tindall. 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 Yeah, make Tindall. That's him. Don't no, think it is, fellas. <laughs> Don't think it is. You put that one in the Sunny crown. Yeah. It's, like, it's like when the start of those old Kilroys, wasn't it? When he used to walk along into yeah. the say, You've married your son in law. You've married your son in law and you're in the royal family. <laughs> anyway, uh, Simon Jordan now uh, mm. chatting about Thomas Tuckle. So when he goes out into the public domain, for no reason, into the public domain as a manager and says, Walk the walk. You know, or walk the talk or whatever it is. I don't think it is. is it? It's walk the walk, talk the talk. It's certainly not talk the walk or walk the talk, is it? I wouldn't think. It's talk sport, though. Yeah, it is talk sport. Time now for the talk sport corner of the week to the sports bar. Let's go to Sandy's a Manchester United fan. Sandy, good Sandy, morning. Sandy, come on. In. Talk sport caller of the week. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was That's it, all really. Sandy gave us, and then he'd gone. <laughs> and staying with the callers, this uh, Evertonian who rang Jim White did struggle with those Greek words. Rafa needs time to make his mark on the squad. Do you agree with that? Well, it's hypocrisy. It's hip- hypocrisy from Farhad. <laughs> hypocrisy. He did very well. He did very well. I think you did very well, Alan. <laughs> Back to Big Alan on yes. breakfast with a quiz about Jim White's star guest of the week. Sir Rod was on Talk Sport, right? And he named three things he liked about... George Evra. Can you name two, please? Who's George Evra? <laughs> it was a quiz called Evra or Ezra. <laughs> I think it was. Is it Patrice? Patrice. Ezra. Is it A? 
Um, <laughs> this is Ali McCoy still, also on breakfast, recording yeah. a very a very old FA Cup final. I'm yeah. surprised he remembers it. I can remember that cup final as if it was yesterday. What a game it was! Incredible. Eight sixteen, the eight sixteen FA Cup, Cup I don't final. Remember it, mate. I, just, I remember there was uh, Louis the Pious was the <laughs> king at the time. He presented the trophy. He presented the trophy. Nice. It was fantastic, <laughs> and um, I think it's the last time Spurs won it actually <laughs> when Louis the Pious was there. <laughs> it's true. And finally, it's Laura Woods on breakfast. Hello everyone, 20 minutes past nine. Thanks for joining us on TalkSport Breakfast. I hope you're having a good morning. I've got Gabby Ibonahor to my left. I've got Darren Bent to my right. And of course, that, that did remind us of something. It's so hard to keep the smile from my face. Losing control, yeah, I'm all over the place. I've got Gabby Ibonahor to my left. I've got Darren Bent to my right. Here I am, <laughs> <laughs> you get the idea. Right? Anyway, <laughs> so we should thank everybody who suggested clips. Sarah, mate, blind Dave Healy. Well done, Dave. Friend of the show, Ali Ross did as well. Sean Fackrell, Andrew West, Yogi, Shah, Guy, Wollaston Village FC, Peter Bond, Matthew Blaylock, and best man George. They all suggested clips that were played this week. So if you do hear what you think is a clip on uh, TalkSport or TalkSport 2 over the next week, then do send it in to us at talksport.com forward slash h and You can text it to 8 to 10 You can tweet it to TSH&J, that's T-S-H-A-N-D-J, and just give us a day and a time when you heard it go out so we can listen back, and if it's played, you'll get a credit. You can hear the clips of the week this week, and indeed most weeks going back into uh, the uh, the mists of time uh, at wherever you get your podcast. so go and check it out. The podcast is available and we do an H and J daily podcast, the best of uh, the afternoons guests and chat, and that's available again wherever you get your podcast. The goofs, the gaffs, and the humongous howlers. The Talk Sport Clips of the Week podcast. I ain't going to sit on the fence, but I think both. <laughs> Subscribe to the Clips of the Week podcast today and get the extended edition delivered to you direct every Friday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs>